top down analysis lesson 30 wow we are at lesson 30 i've done lesson one up to lesson 30 if this is the first time you're watching this video know there are so many other lessons just click on the description box and you will find a link with all the lessons a playlist i have created for you guys so today i want us to do top down analysis and i will do lesson 30 that one and that two it will be top down analysis why am i doing top down analysis it's because at least I want you to uh, to add these three pairs. When you add these three pairs, you will be able every day, like there is something that you want, uh, you're looking forward to. So we will start with Euro CHF. If you can remember very well, the beginning of this month, I told you guys that according to monthly time frame, Euro CHF has declared a buy. So when you come, when you come to a monthly time frame, the reason for my buy was this. Um, double bottom. These are possible double bottom. If you want to know the difference between possible double bottom and a double bottom, a possible double bottom is a double bottom that eventually it can form a cap and handle and, uh, and continue selling. So a possible double bottom has chances of forming a cap and handle, going to half, then rejected and then breaking. So that's why we call it a possible double bottom. But a double bottom is a a, a bottom that has broken half headed to where? Headed to the neckline. So we have this possible double bottom because we don't have, um, the price has not yet hit our half. It is a possible double bottom. So we have half, we have the neckline. And then let me, uh, let me look for half. You have to measure half neckline. And then I measure half. So you'll take your measurement ruler and you measure half like that. And that's the half of that double bottom. So I want us to understand that uh, with the videos that I have been uh, take, uh, giving you, there is lesson 29 when I, when I told you, you need three patterns and then that pattern is what that will kickstart everything. So this is pattern one. I just want to emphasize, by the way, these videos are now emphasizing. We have pattern one, which is on the daily and uh, it's on the monthly, and we got an entry level. But immediately we entered the market retraced on us. So we were, the market went down on how many pips? 172 pips. But the market is starting to come back. So after a drawdown of 170 something pips, the question is, will this market hit half? For me, I'm still positive that the market, by the time the month is ending, it will have hit our half. So <clears throat> let us see how this buy will come to be. So that is our pattern one. And then when the market was uh, around that area, when you go to daily time frame, when you go to daily time frame, uh, even on the weekly, let's say on the weekly time frame, you see that's where the market was when we were getting in. And these are resistance that was broken. So there was nothing much. There was no pattern to trade by that time. So when I went to the daily time frame, I saw this double top, but I could not. For me, I thought it will give us a more of a cup and handle than a double top. So my thought, I just assumed, which is not good. Never assume the market, never predict always react. For me, I knew uh, this one, it will give me a cup and handle so that it can go with the monthly. So for me, I thought uh, the market will, will give me this, 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 the cup and this, the handle. So I never thought the market will break this area. So I thought the market will give me a cup and handle and then go up. So that was the mistake I did. I just assumed so. For me, that double top, they used this double top, meaning that this is our pattern too. If you think still this double top is the, the main pattern they will use, you're still mistaken. Why? The double top has broken the neckline. So this is, I want this only to be available on the monthly only. So the double top uh, and this one to be available only on the daily. So we have pattern one, and this is pattern two now, the double top. And the double top has the neckline. You can see that's the neckline. And you remember the video, I think it was lesson 17, where I was saying, if a neckline breaks, so many things can do. 
if you have a, a double top, so this one, we can't call it a possible double top. This one is a double top because it broke half, it broke neckline. So that remains to be a, a double top. So if we, if we have this double top, some things, so many things can happen. So we can't react first of all. The only thing that gives us a hands up is BW and already know what will happen. But let me show you what will happen here. So that double top has potential of completing the double top, the double top up to the last take profit. So that is one incident that the market can do. It can um it can go all the way. It can go all the way and complete. That is number one. The next thing that this double double bottom can do, it can go to half. The double bottom can the double top can go to half to retest before it goes down. So there is higher possibility that the market can first come here before it goes down. So there is higher possibility that the market can come here and you see there is a, a chance to create a double top. So this market can come here and create a double top. So there is that chance. I'm not saying, I'm not even trying to predict, I'm trying to react. Whichever direction this market will take, that's where we will go all of us. So the market can come up, buy, 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 hit this zone and then goes down. That's one. So we have we have pattern two. So the market can come and do pattern three. Now from pattern three, you will see the market can go, can now drop completely. But because we have pattern two, where the market is, the market can activate a new pattern. So you might be thinking, I'm waiting for the double top to go down and you don't know you are trading a new pattern. So because we don't have on the daily, let's see on the weekly, do we have a new pattern uh, that has been activated? Guys, can you see? Can you see this pattern? We have a double bottom that has been activated on the weekly uh, chart. So this is our pattern three. What have we said, guys, about the three patterns, the three rule, the three piece that the the market makers use. So you see, this is this is um P three pattern three. We have said whenever they give us the the that pattern, they are now serious with that. So we have the pattern two from the daily. We have the we have the pattern two from the daily. We have the pattern one from the monthly. We have the pattern three from from the weekly again. So for all the time frames has a pattern. All the time frame has a pattern. You can imagine all the time frame has a pattern. So let's try to see the half. The half of this is around here. This is the half. So this double top, double bottom, can either today, this week before the week ends, the green candle can come, the market can come, Past ninety six twenty and head there and and head to and head to to the half. You see this double top. If if this double top is still available on the daily, it won't be stronger. It won't be stronger. Can you see the double top? You are saying, oh, let me put a different color so that you can see. If this double top, it will be available on the weekly, it will not be stronger. Why? Because the double top is available on two time frames. This is what I'm saying. So the market might come here and even break. The double top that I'm thinking it can be very strong is this one because it's not available on the weekly. Let's see if this double top is available. This one is available on the weekly. So our problem, our main agenda is to make this double top to be observant. Because if it is not available on the weekly, the market can still reject that area. Not for our. Can you see it's not there? That's what I'm saying. That double top, it can come to the weekly and then the market go down. So that is our area of, we'll first exit. If you're on this buy, our take profit is this area. Because once the market is not on the weekly, and then there's a gap. So this market has to come and close this gap. So if you're on this trade and you're buying, you are buying up to 96. You're buying up to 96 what? Up to 9600. So that's your take profit. We are buying up to 9600. 
Once the trade breaches 9600, we will cut, we'll close all our trades, we'll close all our trades and now observe this pattern, how it will behave. Now from this pattern, that's when we can know what to do next. So you can see weekly has our pattern, pattern three, and then now they can activate pattern four, here pattern four, and then we will know from there what will happen. So if you're watching me and you're on a buy on Euro CHF, we are targeting up to 9,600. We will target up to 9,600. And then now from 9,600, we'll start observing how the market is behaving so that we can be able to, we can be able to know how to enter. If you have not entered Euro CHF already, the market, um, the market is about to create. You can see it is consolidating. So we want the market to come out of this area for it to go to 9,600. So if you want the market to go to 9,600, this is the 90, this is the zone we are saying, if you want the market to come to 9,600, we want this market first to break. So if you have not come, if you have not traded, wait the market to break that channel so that you can trade to 9,600. And I've said it's almost 80 to 90 pips. So depending on where you will enter the trade. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have added your CHF on your, on your watch list. If you have not traded it, pay, att pay close attention to it. Once it breaks this, it breaks out of this channel, we are trading it. Why are we trading it? Because as, as where we are, we are at pattern three and the market can give us what we want. So we are hoping to see Euro CHF at 96. Thank you so much, guys. All the best. Love you.